Hello everyone, welcome back to our Spring Boot tutorial series. In today's video, we are going to learn how to write and run unit test case for our Spring Boot application. So what is unit testing? Unit testing is the process of testing individual component of your code to ensure they perform as expected. In a Spring Boot application, unit tests are usually written using JUnit and Mockito to mock dependency. Today, we will be focusing on testing our custom user detail service class and which is responsible to load the user by user name. So before we begin, we need to add necessary dependency to our pom.xml. So first dependency, we have to add JUnit Jupyter API and next one, you have to add Mockito core. So in case if it's not working, then we'll try to add a Spring Boot test starter. So we have added the necessary dependency and now we are going to create the test cases for this custom user detail service. So let's select this one SRC test Java and right click at your base package level click on class and here change the name as test and you can give the package name as here service so here we have to call this function so before that we have to import this user repository so now we have to use a notation that is called at the rate mock that means we are going to mock this repository to return whatever data we want to return now we have to call this function so for that we have to also import this class private custom user detail service now here we have to use annotation that is called inject mocks and this annotation create an instance of the custom user detail service and inject the mock object into it. This means the custom user detail service object will use the mock user repository. Now before writing our first test case, we have to create another function public void setup. And here we have to use annotation that is called at the rate before it. So what will be happen here at the rate before it annotation we have added for the setup function. So setup method to initialize the mock before each test case. Suppose if we have five test case, then this setup will call five times. So if you want to know much more detail about this one, you can watch our Spring Boot testing tutorial. So here let's mock. So what you can do is mock it to annotation dot open mocks and just pass here this so now we have mocked now let's create our first test case so just use here at the rate test and we are going to create the first test for this function so copy this name just come and use here private void and just use here exist because i want first test case will be like user exists and next test case is like user is not exist so at line number 23 we need to get the user detail so let's copy this class and change the name as mock user let's try to import this annotation now let's set some data so here i have set static data so username is what test user password is what password and set role as user role because at the end we need to return here username password and role so now what we have to do we have to mock this one otherwise what will be happen we are going to get an error so just use here when so let's copy this one find by username and our username is what test user then just return mock user so currently what we are doing so here we have used when user reported dot find by username and we are passing test user and here we are saying like so whenever we will call this function by passing test user then please return the mock user details so let's try to call this function so the return type will be what user details so custom user details service dot load by username and just pass the username now you can import this one so now what will be happen we'll call this one and at this place we are going to pass the username so we already mocked this one so after mocking what will be happen we'll get this user detail so now let's use the assert so what will be happen in the assert we can check like username is coming as expected or not so just use here assert equal so here we have to pass the expected so i'm passing test user as a username now we'll expect like from user detail i will also get the same username we have done one mistake in instead of before all we have to use here before each so i have put the wrong name here so let me add the comment here like arrange that means you can arrange as for your requirement if you want you can change the username also that is also fine so let's try to run and check like it is working fine or not so just come right click go to the run add and just select JUnit test 
so here you can see right we are getting green color that means test case has been passed and here this function name is what test load user by username underscore user exists so this is the first test case and in this test case so whatever user we pass it is working fine in case if i change with some random username and again if i try to run what will be happen here we will get the message like test case has been failed you can see like failure and why it is failure because expected was test user 44 and we just got test user so similarly you can add another two things also now you can again rerun you can see that it is working fine in case if you are having some issue to run the test case then might be you have to add another dependency before the j unit that is called a spring boot starter test if it is missing you can also add it might also help you to run your test case so let's add another test case and in that test case what will be happen we are going to expect like user will be null so just copy this one so let's create for user not exist so if user not exist then no need to add this mocked user detail and here we are just going to pass the invalid user so the return data will be here null so let's remove this one and just use here assert assert throws so here what error i'm expecting here i'm going to expect like user not found exception dot class use here arrow function custom user detail service dot load by username and just pass here same thing invalid or you can change as invalid user if you want so first of all here i mocked like if i am passing invalid user then just return the null and at this place i am going to call that function load by username so by default here we are going to get the null data because we have already mocked and here i'm expecting like i'm going to get error user not found exception so let's run so you can see right two test case has been passed and it is green color first test case is like when user exists and next test case is like user not exists so you can keep modify this test case if you want you can add this test case at controller level also i have just added at service level so see you in next video